Hey guys, Whitney here, and welcome to another part of The Sims 4 Get to Work Let's Play. You guys are probably like, what? Seriously? You're actually recording this? Yes, I am. <laughs> it's been a really long time. I'm so sorry. But I am going to finish this Let's Play. I am. Um, I talked in the last part about stopping it at 35 parts, and I still think that's probably a good way to go. Um, but I'll make sure that it is... Uh, it's done well like i'm gonna try i'm gonna keep make sure there's closure and all of that so he made some okay quality jelly filled donuts they could look a little better they look a little rough but people need to eat and he's kind of the only one that can really cook or do any kind of baking so <laughs> so yeah that's kind of his job i guess his unofficial job um so i'm gonna have people come in and grab a serving uh She's still sleeping, but she's really hungry, so she's going to have to wake up and go grab a serving as well. And so will she. So who works today? Um, I think they all do. Yeah, they do. But I think what I'm going to do is actually... Um, I don't know. I might have Tess actually call out of work today. So let's go ahead and have her... Mm -mm -mm take a vacation day she's actually down here practicing her writing oh now she's sad why is she sad okay so did she get approved yes okay great um i don't know why you're sad shmoo 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 sometimes wild mad thoughts enter one's head this is one of those times um okay well we're gonna go ahead and write a sad book then we're gonna take advantage of this um opportunity <laughs> and write a sad book um no exit ramp this is a sad book um sure why not she's like sobbing as she's writing it oh tess um but tess is called out of work because she's gonna have a big exciting day because her and patrick are going to get married tomorrow on saturday which is insane um like crazy crazy um so I'm going to have her actually go to a bridal shop and just play it out as if she's looking for a a wedding dress. And she's going to actually go to a bridal shop that I found on the gallery and I placed it. And yeah, I'm so I'm excited for that. <laughs> Dear God, she is like sobbing her eyes out. Luna, why are you in their bathroom? <laughs> Get out. He's like, leave, alien. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what does she want to do with Trevor? She wants to cloud gaze with Trevor. He wants to take a shower. Why don't you go shower up here where there's nobody? What a concept. Um. So what is their relationship like? I can't remember. Ooh, snap. <laughs> they are lovers. It says they're lovers and they're just friends. I don't quite understand that, but okay. So yeah, they're like really close. And I th they think, do they all have off on Saturday? I oh, know he doesn't. We'll have to have him call out of work. Cause he's the only one that works on Saturday, so he we, he cannot miss the wedding. He just can't. Um, so Pat, who am I talking about? <laughs> Trevor got abducted by aliens, and he is not pregnant though. Um, I don't think. Wait, what's this? He didn't walk in on anyone. What are you talking about? Anyway, I'm hoping that he will get pregnant again, like get abducted again, and then get pregnant because. That would just be, that would be perfect. I really want to have an alien baby. I mean, he could just have a baby with um, Luna, but I just, I would love for him to actually get abducted and get impregnated by an alien. Like, I think that would be hilarious. Um, <laughs> look at her making herself comfy on their bed. Awesome. Um, so she goes to work in an hour, but I'm going to have her get started on some oh yeah you can hire a gardener service now which is pretty neat we're gonna have her purchase some seeds she's going to get some fruit vegetable and herbs because that is what patrick needs to make certain um goodies so so yeah so she's gonna get going on that since she is you know good at gardening i guess well, it goes towards her job so it would just make sense so so let's see 
Um, let's open these packets. She has so much in her inventory. Like, I didn't even realize. Look, she has strawberries right here. <laughs> I'm gonna go plant some strawberries. What else? Um, we could do some grapes and some... What else? Because she got herbs and stuff, right? I don't know. What's this? Parsley. We'll plant some of that. And some carrots. <laughs> this is going to be such a mess of a garden, but it's fine. Basil. And what else? Some mushrooms. And spinach. And she still has the simray. How awesome. Um, mm -hmm. I guess, I guess that's good. I don't know what else she would put in there, you know. Um, she's going to go to work alone once she's done planting. All right, so she got her royalty payments. Thank you, Tess. Um, you can stop writing the sad book now. <laughs> stop writing that sad book and go eat yourself some nasty jelly donuts that he made for you. And then you can go out wedding dress shopping. How fun. I'm excited. I know you don't need to actually go shopping for a wedding dress, but it just makes it fun. It just gives you something extra to do in the game. And that's how I used to play in The Sims 2. I would have them go to the grocery store. Instead of just ordering a delivery for groceries if they ran out in The Sims 2, I would literally just have them go to the grocery store. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It just it makes it fun. Yes, chat with your love, why don't you? Because she's sad. Can you try to cheer her up a bit? I think you usually can. I don't know. Just got your intro. Flatter her. That's what you can do. Whoops. Brighten her day. And compliment her outfit, even though she's in a shirt for her pajamas. It's okay. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> and can she, like, talk to him? Well, I don't think she's sad anymore. Ask him about his favorite author. She's like, these are disgusting. <laughs> but I love you. Still love you. Ugh, that thing is broken. I'm pretty sure Trevor has the highest handiness skill in the bunch. So he'll have to do it. Yeah, he has a three, which is like the highest in the house, which is so sad. Um, all right, so she is finished eating. You can just throw these away because they're disgusting. And you can go actually work on your baking. We're going to have him bake some more pastries. Um, okay. I'm going to have him make some cream filled donuts. And I want to get the trash can that gives them money. Um, but they'd be left with like, I think like a thousand or even less simoleons. And I don't want to make them completely broke just yet. So, <laughs> we'll see. Is she... Do we need these? I know I was going to collect them all. I mean... Well, they're not worth much. We're, we're going to keep them. And he has a treasure map. I don't know exactly how they work. I don't know if you can do anything with a treasure map. If you can actually find treasure with it. You guys probably know this better than I do. Um, But yeah, they're worth quite a bit of money. So let me know. She wants to embrace Patrick. Alright, so she's going to head out... She's going to travel alone. Stop reading the book. <laughs> and I actually placed it in Willow Creek because I thought that it just fit better in that world particularly. So, so yeah, let's pop on over to Willow Creek. And I will tell you guys um, who made this because it certainly was not me. So this is called The Blushing Bride. And it was created by Rusty underscore Raindrop. So, so yeah, you guys can go ahead and download that for yourselves if you would like. And here we are. So this is the place. So let's go ahead and just look at it because it looks stunning from the outside like I could never build anything like this <laughs> it even has like a little place outside where it looks like they can get married um but you can just like buy the arch if you want and then they have like some mannequins so precious I love it I love the fountain it's just such a pretty pretty store I love it um 
All right, so this is the inside. It looks very, well, very bridal, obviously, but very, like, fancy and probably not really Tessa's style. But it's a wedding shop, and I feel like, you know, it should look a little elegant, you know? These look like, this looks like a bridesmaid's dress or something. That is so pretty. I think I might have Lauren have get a, and Luna have a bridesmaid's dress. I think that would be cute. But we don't have a lot of money. But she just needs to to buy a wedding dress. Like this dress is so pretty, gorgeous. Um, and then what's over here? Like some bathrooms, a random backpack, and <laughs> some bathrooms. It's cool. Um, so I don't know exactly which dress would fit her. Like it needs to be something. I don't know. Like, what exactly would fit her? Do you know? Would she have a white wedding dress? Or would she go with, like, this blue? Because <laughs> knowing her. I do I do like this traditional dress. Like, it is so pretty. We're going to go ahead and uh, try it on. She's dancing with the mannequins. <laughs> we got to get her store up and running. It just costs so much money. Um, excuse me, biatch. <laughs> Who's getting married here? Probably ain't you. All right, let's go ahead and try this on. What do we think? Ooh, Tess, look at her. She's feeling herself. She's feeling flirty now. She's like, I have something to say. We'll never know what it was, though. But, like, with the gloves and everything, like, it's, I don't know, it's not really her, though, you know? I don't know. Let's go over and try this one on, just for the heck of it. See, like, this is so fun to see, like, all these, well, they're probably not actually engaged, all the other Sims, because there's not much story progression. <laughs> but, um, in the Sims 4, but... I love that. It's like, it's not white. It's kind of like an off-white. And it's kind of edgy and it's glamorous at the same time. I actually really love, she's feeling confident in this. So, you know, I think she should buy this one. We're going to have her purchase this. How much was it? 218 for a wedding dress. Honey, you freaking <laughs> scored. <laughs> I'm actually, for those of you who don't know, I'm getting married next year. And yeah, wedding dresses ain't usually two hundred dollars, <laughs> so that's why I'm like, really? That's lucky. Why don't you go over here and make some friends? Um, go talk to Candy because Candy is actually from uh, the Get Together expansion pack, and she's in my Get Together Let's Play <laughs> drama. But why not? She can have some friends. We'll pretend these are like her fellow wedding friends. You know, she meets like all these girls getting married and. Why not? She's cute. We'll talk to her too. Insult. God. Who is giving you a rude introduction? No, I really want to know. So we can have a fight down in a bridesmaid's dress. Or I mean a wedding dress. What am I talking about? Whoever's giving her a rude introduction better hurry up. Who is coming to greet her? Is it her? Or her? I don't know. I want to know who is this person. Giving a rude introduction to her. Because it looks like an evil... I don't know. Who is it? Is it this girl? I don't know. I have no idea who it is. I don't know. It's driving me nuts. I wish I knew because I would totally have a throwdown in a wedding dress. She, Tess would. If anyone would, it would be Tess. So I just want to know who's trying to like start crap with her, you know? the store owner i don't know i really want to know though i don't know let's um who all's out here oh johnny johnny zest who kind of kind of has a thing with lauren i guess you could say kind of sort of i don't know who's trying to greet her i don't i have no idea this is so cute everybody trying on wedding dresses it's just it's adorable I want her to start something, though. Like, is anybody trying to get the same dress as her? Because that would be totally something to fight about. 
<laughs> I wish, I wish they would restock that outfit already and she could just like fight someone who's like trying to get the same dress as her. Hey Candy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Candy gets enough drama in my get together let's play. This girl's a teen. I wish I knew. She's gonna go take a confident poo. Is it her? No, she's leaving. I don't know who it is. We're going to X out of that then. Because I don't know who that is. That is so weird. Is that a glitch? I don't know, guys. I wish I knew. Let's start it with the with the clerk. The woman that runs the place. You know? Yeah, let's be mean. Let's um insult her. Just for the heck of it. We're, we're crazy, you know? We will... <laughs> We will invite her, pretend like we're going to invite her to the wedding. <laughs> pretend like you're going to invite her to the wedding. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. We will mock her outfit. I mean, literally, what is that outfit, though? She looks like, it looks like a hot dog because she's like red with yellow, like mustard. Uh. Ooh, oh my god. Lauren was promoted and we didn't even go to work with her. All right, so she's promoted to assistant nurse. She now makes 19, additional 19 per hour for a grand total of 68. Wow. So she got 384 simoleons, a restless, thankless medical stool, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can now check hotness. So we're pretty much going to sell all that stuff. <laughs> Let's be honest. So <laughs> that's great. We're going to get some extra money. I don't know why that is stuck like that. She's just dancing with the mannequin. She's as happy as can be. I want this girl to fight with us. I want her to fight us. Like, yell at her. Wait, what are you doing? Okay. Yeah, go. just go yell at her. Why not? So much You can't eat a meal! Oh my god. Scare her. Why not? Just mess with her. Tess would. Tess totally would. It's <laughs> just like this random kid here. Love it. <laughs> oh, she liked it. Okay, I guess we can be friends because you don't seem to take my insults how, like I thought you would. Um, whoever's doing inventory or restocking here needs to um do better. So <laughs> let's go ahead and change out of this outfit. I mean, really though. Um. Because I don't want Patrick to see, you know. So we're going to change into our everyday. And then we're going to go home. That was event. Like, that was fun. See, I love doing stuff like that. Because it's just, it's just so cute to add little things like that into your game, I feel. So, yeah. I think that was fun. Here we are back home. They are so cute. They're, like, hugging. Recite love poetry to him. And I did say that I kind of want a baby. In this let's play, so let's just go ahead and <laughs> let's do it. Why not? You know what? We got 4,000 small ends. It's enough for like a baby edition or whatever. We're going to do it. Literally. <laughs> wow, that was so tacky. <laughs> oh, let's try for a baby. Is he up for it? Yay, he wants a baby too. Perfect. Perfect. Nobody better be down there. There's always somebody in their room, I swear. You're about to get an eyeful. Okay, no, good. Yay, this is so exciting. Trying for a baby. That's <laughs> awesome. All right. So what are people doing? Uh, she's sleeping. She's like, F my FML. What is this? Oh, these are like patient samples. I still want to get up in the photography skill um, and get them a new house. Like, there's a lot I want to do, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. Just because this Let's Play is going to end sooner than usual, I'm still going to do a lot with it. So, he wants to flirt with Luna. Go, boy, get it. Get it. Go ahead and... Oh, my gosh. Ask her if she's single. Like, we wouldn't know. Like, we wouldn't know. And <laughs> give her a kiss. Like, let me see. Yeah, give her a smooch. All right, are these two done? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, she is going to go and take a pregnancy test. 
Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, she, he learned that she was single. All right, we're going to have her take a pregnancy test. Why not? What are you eating? What the heck is that? Oh, they're the cream filled donuts. They looked like a burnt hamburger. Doesn't it? That looks like a burnt pancake or a burnt hamburger. But yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, guys. Um, all right, let's go ahead and is everybody pretty hungry? Kinda. Eating for two. Yay! Tess is expecting. So now she's going to have a little baby bump at her wedding. It's so cute. All right. So there's going to be a new addition to the family. Watch. It's like triplets or something. I would die. I would die. Um, <laughs> I hope not because they're not fertile or anything. They're not super fertile. I don't have any special things for them. So I hope not because that would be pretty darn crazy. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and now that they have 4,000 simoleons, get rid of this trash can and what's in their household inventory the stool and this pot rack thing it's actually pretty nice but no <laughs> just get rid of it all and i want to get the um trash can the special one that gives you money right here oh it's only 1200 i thought it was 2500 okay so nano can touchless trash can so whenever they use this trash can they will get um, money. That's, you can fit there. There is nothing there. Sweet baby Jesus. All right, let's just put it. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so yeah, so now they're gonna like get 50 simoleons every time they throw something away because there's five of them in the household. So they get 50, and if there were six people in the household, they'd get 60, and so on, so on. So, yeah, that's going to come in handy, <laughs> getting some extra money. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. These two lovebirds, they're, <laughs> they're actually going to get married in the next part, which is really crazy and exciting. And did we announce our pregnancy? Wait, first of all, did we? Because you should. Um, share secret? I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. I don't know why. Oh, well, he'll, he'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> when, when she has a baby. So, yeah, I'm going to end this part here. Hope you guys liked it. And I will see you all in the next part. Bye, guys.